What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Onto the Boss here, and I got some ultimate team footage for you guys. Now, last Monday, Monday Night Football, I was at the Redskins game, and I got to see my ultimate team quarterback live in action. Now, this footage right here is rarity because you get to see RG3 run. In week one, he barely scrambled the ball. But unfortunately, since we want to, you know, change things up on my team, it is time to let him go. Uh, I, I don't know how I did this, but hey, I'm doing it for the viewers. Uh, you guys asked for a certain player, and I'm going to give it to you guys. And here we are letting go of RG3. His price at the moment, at the time when I was recording this, was about 19000 So I put it for 18 500 and I also decided to let go of Percy Harvin now what I normally do is I go to the auction I look at the lowest price and I lower mine and I make mine lower than the lowest price on the auction so I decided to put the Percy Harvin card for about 24k and uh, basically both of those gar uh, cards got sold so your boy has a lot of money in the bank and I decided to go ahead with a few of my coins, open up some packs. So you see, trending holiday. Maybe we might use that card as I kick the turn pump returner. We also get Otto Graham. And uh, yeah, so I decided to go ahead and do a collection. Now, I was kind of in between two stadiums, Aloha Stadium and London Stadium. Now, if you guys don't know how to do this, you go into the specific collection you want to do. And basically, you want to have all these items right here. So I bought all the items from the auction and there I am. I put all of them in the collection and everything is now ready to go. So we have finished Aloha Stadium collection and it, the card is now in my active roster. So it's going to be pretty nice playing in that stadium. Now I was sitting there, I was like, all right, we're about to start the playoffs. Maybe I need to add some difference makers onto my team. Now, a lot of people want to see this card right here, Terrell Pryor, the new week one edition card, 83 overall. Uh, you take a look at the back of the card, 91 speed and 84 elusiveness. Running the read option with this card is going to be great. His passing is not bad whatsoever. And let's go ahead and do that. 8,000 coins, although if you're watching this right now, it might be a little less than that. And this card right here, in my opinion, is a steal. I got to saw him in person, and this dude looked like he was playing in Madden. LaShawn McCoy, 89 overall for 6,300 coins is a steal. And last but not least, I decided to go ahead and purchase Mike Wallace. Hold your horses, because that was not last. This is the last card that I decided to get, Colin Kaepernick. Uh, again, in my opinion, this is also a steal. Around 5k coins have him as my backup for this game so here is how my team is gonna look like we got LeSean McCoy obviously you see my offense a lot of, maybe a few of these cards you haven't seen before but we got Larry Fitz Mike Wallace Hakeem Nicks uh Jimmy Graham I did get him from a pack opening a week ago so he's gonna be the newly added tight end to my team my defensive front hasn't really changed and my defensive secondary is what you see on your screen right now and again these guys have not changed either now, one thing that I did change was my home and away jersey. I decided to go with the Tennessee Titans jerseys. And the Aloha Stadium is finally our home now. So here we go. Wild card was a first round bye. Now we are set to start the divisional round. So kickoff time is here. My first playoff game this year in Ultimate Team. So let's get this one started. The pressure is not there, but you see the defenders were all over LaShawn McCoy, so that screenplay did not work out. Third and six now, Mike Wallace gets the reception, but he is short, so we're forced to go for it already here in the first quarter, but Terrell Pryor secures that one, and then he's going to come out here on the quarterback wrap. He might actually take this one to the house, but I thought he was there. But, you know, he's not there yet. So his house was just short of him. But with that fullback dive right there, we're able to get seven points up on the scoreboard. It didn't take long for my opponent to do the same thing. The score is already knotted up. But here he is once again with about 15 seconds remaining in the first half. You see he is managing the clock well. And he goes in for two touchdowns in the first half. So just like that, the score is 14-7. to Now he got the ball back in the second half to start it off. 
and this dude just went bananas. I mean, he got first down after first down, and look at that bogus tackle right there. He should have definitely been down, but the dude literally was spinning his way for a first down, and he just kept going and going, and you see he basically milked the clock. I mean, he started ball in the third quarter, and he gave it back to me with a minute 59 left in the fourth. So I came out here, I had X wide open, but I decided to somehow throw it to Jimmy Graham. You can tell I was frustrated right there. And just like that, my opponent came out here and gave me that big loss. I mean, I haven't gotten a loss in a while. My record in a regular season was A and 2. And we start off the playoffs just like that. We're out of it. We get a loss here and it says, good job. But your team sucks. And look at the frustration on my face. Your boy is tearing up, man. But hey, a new season is ahead of us. We just got to, you know, open up a new chapter. So here is week number one. I honestly feel bad for my opponent right now because I'm about to go ham. So here it is, man. I can't believe it because... This is like my first time playing at home. You guys see the Aloha Stadium, beautiful. And here comes Mike Wallace on the kick return, spinning and getting knocked down. So we're gonna try this screenplay once again. LaShawn McCoy, finally, it's a success. Watch this, watch this. I'm gonna jump right over you and I'm gonna get taken down at the 32 yard line. So try prior. Terrell Pryor comes right back, gives the handoff to McCoy. Nowhere to go, but it is third and six, and we take advantage of Mike Wallace's speed. Just like that, we go up seven to nothing. Here comes my opponent. He's trying to tie things up, but he did not see Kenny Phillips. And Kenny Phillips is just going to kneel this one down, and we're going to take over. But when we took over, we couldn't really do anything, so we had to punt the ball away. Six seconds left, and look at Deion Sanders. Samuel, get up, Samuel. Oh, my goodness. Asante Samuel is able to get up right on time and deliver that ball to the house. So it's already 14 and nothing. He gets started here in the second half, and it's not looking good. His player gets popped on the play. A lot of time in the pocket. He gets rid of it, and that one was to Asante Samuel. So not only did he recover a fumble for a touchdown, but the dude is getting an interception here as well. We give it to McCoy, and look at his video game. McCoy breaks a tackle, and he tried to jump over somebody else once again, but no. Here comes Sherrall Pryor. He notices Hakeem Nix finally gets in on the action, and he's going to give it to McCoy once again. Check out that juke move, and no one is going to be able to catch up to LaShawn McCoy. Man, if you haven't used that card, I don't know what you're waiting on. So my opponent gets the ball. Fourth and two right here. Adrian Peterson, who? He gets stopped on fourth down. We take over and look who's wide open. Jimmy Graham, the elite edition card, puts us up 28 to nothing. All right, maybe my opponent has an opportunity here to score. You don't want to go out with zero points on the scoreboard. He comes out here and throws it straight to my linebacker's hands. And what a way to start the second regular season of my ultimate team. Week one was a victory. But then as soon as I started W, it kind of reminded me that I lost in the divisional round. But hey, we got a fresh new slate in our hands. Season number two. It's your boy Onto the Boss here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time, man. I'm out. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Onto the Boss. Once you have done so, I will keep you guys posted when I'll be uploading all of my videos. This is also a great way to reach me if you have any questions.